So my first question is, can you just share with us, uh, how did you use the Kangen water over the month that you borrowed the machine? Great. So I use the Kangen water primarily for IPM, for pest management, as well as some feeding too on some of the plants. So I only watered the Colorado Star with 11.5 pH water that was brought down to 6.2 pH. I noticed a lot of rigorous growth coming from this Colorado Star after yesterday's feed. And not noticing any more spider mites coming back out of this plant. So that's a good promising sign. And what we've noticed is that the Kangen water um, bouncing between the 2.5 and 11.5 was very effective for controlling spider mites as well as fungus gnats, which is the biggest problem in this greenhouse is fungus gnats. And it's, uh, it's quite effective for the fungus gnats. Awesome. So today I sprayed Kangen water pH 2.5 on the two test plants I've been working on for the last few days and I'm noticing no introduction, reintroduction of mites, the fungus gnats are pretty much non-existent which is a really good sign. How quickly would you say you saw some results with that? I saw results almost immediately from one pot. So basically we had a test we had two plants that we were testing, and then we had one empty pot. And just the test that I flooded the empty pot with 2.5 pH water, and we noticed almost immediately fungus gnats were dying when I closed in with a microscope. So that was quite an amazing um, realization. And we did notice a reduction on the plants that, or the, the pots that had plants that were growing in it as well and over time I'd say about three or four times of using it you didn't really see too much of a, a um, reintroduction of population. Okay that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah amazing. definitely. Monday January 16th or 14th and these are the plants that we were originally testing with the Kangen water and I noticed the mites have not come back extensively this is really good. So I am seeing a, a benefit in this greenhouse, for sure. And would you recommend this for other growers, and why? I would definitely recommend using Kangen water for IPM. And one of the main reasons why is that there's so many different biological controls you can use. They're expensive, and yes, they are effective, but some of them are toxic. They can be phyto. They can have, be a, have a phytotoxicity level in your plants. It might not be something that you want to add to your plants. Also, um, you know, there's some that are just toxic in general. And I've heard uh, questionable um, reviews on using neem oil for for um, plant and pesticide as well. So I'd highly recommend it for an easy, cost-effective means of dealing with pests as well as feeding the plants too. It's an amazing, amazing product and it's just water. Exactly. That's what is really exciting for me. Mm -hmm. The most impressive plant, and you can't really see too well, but this was heavily infested with aphids. And it's pretty much eradicating most of them, including the eggs. Did you notice any harmful effects at all on the plants due to the Kangen water? Uh, none at all. And you can spray the plants with underneath these lights right here. Sometimes I turn the lights off if the plants are really high. But for the most part, nothing. I didn't notice any problems at all with the water. Especially going back back and forth between 2.5 and 11.5. It seems to balance out the, um, the pH when you're spraying on the plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks yeah. so much. You're very welcome.